Okay, so we're going to set up a custom conversion around this page right here. So let's go to settings in the in the tab. No, in the, the right there at the top, the ads manager. Right oh, there, your, your tab. No, you're, you're to the right. That set it says settings. That tab, up, to the left. Um, <clears throat> very. You have it open right there. Settings. Okay. Yeah, click on that. So now click on those dots to the left, and then we're going to click on events manager. And then as you navigate through Facebook, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but a lot of the times as you're navigating through, you'll be in a different account. So what I always try to do is I always try to check that, that drop down in the top right, Sprouting with Steve. Always make sure you're in that account because, again, sometimes you, they'll kick you out and you'll be in a different account. And you'll set up all this stuff and all of a sudden you're in a different that was account. My, that was my question. I was, so the other account I have, is yeah, I've got two here with Sprouting with Steve. Okay, so we need to we need to know which one we're using. And I and I I think I want this one here because that's the latest uh, picture that I put. Okay, what we have to do is we have to check the pixel and make sure that it's the correct pixel that is tracking that yeah. page. So, okay, so now we're on now we're on this one here. Yeah. See, so you have a couple different ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they are. So we, so that pixel to the right, you see it says 300708 down the pixel code, the 300708 down, it says pixel no. down. Right there, pixel. Well, I got your picture over it. I got to move it. Okay, yeah, move that. Okay, so right that's there. the pixel for sprouting with Steve. Yeah, so that pixel needs to be on, needs to be matching with the actual pages. So go back to your Kartra page. Go back to the, the builder. Okay, let's let's go to settings. Yeah, let's check the pixel. Tracking code. So if you just click and scroll down a bit, you'll see a code. You'll see the actual digits. Scroll down a little bit more. Right there. Right there so ending in 4480. Perfect. So just make sure that's the same. Yep, 4480. See, so that's what I'm saying. You were in the other one. Yeah. And that's why we always have to double check that. Perfect. So this is where we need to be. And, and, and yeah, so, so just make sure that those, that pixel is the same pixel on the landing page and the thank you page. So just, you know, confirm that in the future and, you know, check that later. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up, um, we're going to hover over that triangle, that blue triangle to the left. And we're going to go to custom conversions. And then create custom conversion. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the thank you page and let's grab the link. Now here's the thing. No, not the builder, the actual page, the, uh, the other tab. There we go. Double click up at the URL, sproutingwithsteve.com forward slash presentation. Okay, so all you're gonna grab, and this is just what you'll do for every custom audience and for every custom conversion. You don't need the HTTPS, you don't need the www. All you need is sprouting with Steve Right there. That's all you need right there. Copy that. And we're going to simply name it. So let's at the very top, let's name it. These are leads. These are people who opt in. These are registrants. These are, these are Sprouting with Steve registrants. These are Sprouting with Steve leads. These are, name them, name it whatever the heck you want. Name it. Um, I mean, again, on mine, I have, I have web class registrants. You know, you could be, you can have, you know, Sprout with Steve oh, registrants. Steve, how about presentation? Perfect. Viewers or just presentation leads? Perfect. Leads. Yeah. So that right there is the title of your custom conversion. So as you go in and set up the ad, you're looking for that custom conversion, which I'll show you where it's at. Um, so that's the right pixel. So spreading with Steve's pixel. Remember, that's the pixel. And then you're going to go all URL traffic and then hit that select your own category. Let's um, hit the drop down recommended. Hit the drop down. Here. Yes. And then let's go down to the one that pertains to this. So we can go complete registration. We can go look at all of them. We can go lead. We can go um, see it won't be purchased. So see, so this is this is a perfect you know example here. As they purchase and they land on the page, thank you for purchasing. 
that's what you're going to categorize under, under purchase. If they ever scheduled an appointment, you let list it under schedule. So in this case, it probably the best one would probably be either lead or um, completed registration. You can go with either one. Probably just lead. Yeah, let's go with lead. Here. Perfect. Okay, and then and then URL contains and go ahead and paste in that URL. And then and then you have this. You have to yeah. There you go. And then. Um, Let's see, hit X that out real quick. Yes. No, 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 the presentation, the link, because for some reason it's not reading it, but double click and delete it and paste it again and then grab the drop down. So click the drop down. Yeah, click on that. Perfect. See, see how that blue yep. button lit up now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So hit create. What That's about our customer conversion value. What is no, you don't have to do that because it's just a lead unless you know the value of your lead, the, the cost of your lead, which you don't have to do. That's not necessary okay. right here. Later on, as you start to run a ton of ads and start to figure out the cost per lead, then that might be so, you know, a good metric. But So basically right now I'm creating a custom conversion. I'm creating a group of people uh, that will be tagged of, as of landing on that page. No. No. That's the custom audience. We're going to do that next. Okay. Same link, same everything, but that's a custom audience. That's okay. tagging okay. everybody who's landing on a specific page. That's a custom audience. Okay. So and the reason why a custom audience is required is because as you continue to run future ads, the custom audience, you're able to exclude from, from seeing your next ad. Because why would I want to include them? Why would I ever want to target those types of people again when they've already registered? Yeah. So I need to exclude them from future ads. That's a custom audience. But in this yeah. case, you're setting up a custom conversion. You're simply telling Facebook, hey, I am running this specific ad with this one intention and this one intention only, and it's to get them to this page. That's it. Okay. So, so even though the learn more button, when they click on it, they go to the landing page. Okay, that's fine. But again... Facebook needs to know needs to know the ultimate goal. What's what's your real goal? Is to get them here. So let's go to the other page, the the, the Karcher page, the the thank you page, not the builder, but the other one. Yeah. Okay. So now refresh this page. Just go ahead and hit refresh. Okay. Cool. Now go back to the Facebook Ads Manager. And sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, but let's see how, how, let's see if it updates now. So refresh this page, this inactive, we're waiting for that act, that inactive to turn, um, to turn active. So go ahead and refresh this page. Perfect. There's my boy in the back. Say what's up to Pastor Ron. What's up? How's it going, man? That's my, that's my 12 year old right there, Pastor. All right. Um, Perfect, man. So we're good. So that's active. We're good. It, it activated right away. So it's perfect. So now we're good. That's a, that's a custom conversion. Now there's a couple other conversions that you want to start setting up as well. This is the most important, but the other custom conversion that's important is the add to cart. That's why it's important for watch, go back to, go back to your page real quick. Okay. So it's timed out. So now it went here, but on the actual presentation page, when they click on that button to buy, what you want, and hopefully you have it set up this way. If not, then I'm going to recommend that you change it. But go back to the, yeah, see right here. So scroll down. That When I, when I click on that, that blue button, open it up. Yeah, this edit. Where are you taking me? Are you taking me to click on link? Okay, see, so I wouldn't recommend that at all. Now that you would think that, you know, logically would make sense, click the button, pop up a checkout, but not when it comes to Facebook ads, like not at all, because here's what you want to do. And, 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 and this is how I, want, I have you want my page. You want to check out page. Yeah. We need to check out page because do you know why? Well, so you can track who's landed on there and maybe not bought. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> because those people who click the blue button and go to a checkout page, were able to track with Facebook pixel. We're able to create a custom audience and we're able to create a custom conversion. Um, but again, the custom audience alone is super important because I want to know who lands on that page that did not buy because those are people who I need to run ads to in the future again. You know, so, so, 
if I, if I <clears throat> track that, I know I have a custom audience of everyone who lands on the checkout page. Now I can run specific ads to just them. Like right. not even, not even just including them in future ads that I'm running to everybody. No, I can, I can run a specific ad just to them. Hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to come on camera. Hey, I noticed you were about to check out. Like I can literally speak to them through a Facebook ad, right? Because yeah. I know they landed on that checkout page, but did not purchase. And how do I know they did not purchase? Because I also include the confirmation, the purchase page. I also include that in the custom audience as well. So in the custom audience, I'm telling Facebook, these are people who land on the checkout page, but never landed on the order complete page. So I know they didn't buy, you know, so, so yeah, having a, yeah, that checkout page is super, super important. So I need to create a, a whole new uh, a, a checkout page. I would, man. And, and I, I, have, I have a checkout page for you. Um, let, me, let, me just send you, let me just send you the link and you can just kind of mirror it. But um, let, me, um, let me see if I can share my screen. Okay, let me so pull. Would, would your checkout page be in that funnel that you sent me? It should, but I, I, I also know that I, I, I updated it just a little bit, but it should, be, it should be the same exact one. But let me, um, let me send it to you. Go ahead and check your, your Zoom chat. Go ahead and share your screen. Okay, so I see it right there. Um, see, and because my pixel's on that page, because I have that page set up as a custom audience, you're now tracked. So you may see an ad for me in the future because you landed on that page. See how that works? Yeah. Pastor, give me give me one second, okay? Okay. Go ahead and share your screen. Okay. So all right. Okay, so this is the the checkout page that I have that you sent me last time. Okay. Um, so it, yeah, it's pretty much the it's same. Similar. You, yeah. you went with blue and. Mm -hmm. um, so tie that to your checkout real quick. Okay, so this one here, which is called. Okay, so then I would have to go to what my product. No. No, just go to the product. error right where it says error. Right here, right? Yeah, yeah. So I would go to link another purchase page. Yes. And it should ask me what page. In the very, very bottom website, go um, no site at the very, yeah, the drop down, right where it says website at the very bottom, right there. Oh, this it's thing a drop is down. My picture, your picture is covering it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is it called? Right there, right? Yeah, perfect. Open and then new open a new no? tab. Yes, open a new tab. Perfect. Is that the yeah, only? I got to do that for all my buttons, right? Yeah, yeah. So I've got that one.
Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now that's just on this landing on this page here. Okay. Yeah. So save progress, publish live, and and you're and you're good. <clears throat> so let's set up a custom conversion around that page, around the checkout the landing, page. The checkout page. Yeah, the checkout page. So go ahead and um Go ahead and X out of, go ahead and go back to the, to the, um, open up the, um, you can X out of this one, X out of this one, X out of that one, the secure checkout. So go to the secure checkout to the, the tab, secure checkout, the, the, the one that's already open, secure checkout at the top. Uh, in here? No, up the tab, secure checkout. Okay, that, cool. That's, so, the, that's the one that you just emailed me okay okay perfect so you can close out that one then so then you'll be working with the other one okay. okay so now hover over that red error and just edit this yeah just go tr yeah that's fine Perfect. So there's that. And then the countdown clock, I mean, you can have it there. You don't have to have it there. In fact, I think I took mine off, um, but it's up to you. I'll take it off. Yeah. So you can, um, yeah, perfect. And then I would need to change all this over here and that's my checkout. That's your checkout. Yes. So let's save progress, publish live, And then, and then let's just change out the link and then we'll, we'll grab the link yeah. because sometimes the reason why this is set up as a custom conversion also, it's going to be set up as a custom audience for sure. That's, that's kind of, I actually, I mean, they're both super important, but again, the custom conversion is telling Facebook what your objective is like that. I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that. Like what is your objective? And so again, our objective is to get them to the presentation page, which is a thank you page. So we tell Facebook that. And then every now and then you'll also run ads. And this is, this is, this is what you call split testing. Split testing, don't grab the HTTPS or the www. Split testing is also, split testing can be di many different things. Split testing could be the color of, of, of a page. You have two exact identical pages, but one has this headline, another page has this headline, which headline converts better. Like right. that's a form of split testing. A form of split testing is also on, on your targeting. You're targeting people who follow the Home Depot or, and, and on a separate campaign, you're, you're targeting people who, who follow HGTV because mm -hmm. these people are into do it yourself type of gardening stuff. That's a form of split testing. There are two different campaigns targeting two different audiences to see which one converts better. In this case, it's also a form of split testing where sometimes you'll run conversion ads to, to, to optimize for this conversion. And sometimes you'll run Facebook ads to optimize for the add to cart, the checkout page conversion okay. to see which one converts better. Does it convert better when I tell Facebook about the checkout page or does it convert better? Do I get more sales when I tell Facebook about this page right here? Gotcha. That's a form of split testing because, gotcha. because both, both types of people are the type that I'm looking for. I'm looking for people to register and, and get to that presentation page. That's, that's person number one. And I'm also telling Facebook, I'm also looking for people that are likely to check out. Facebook has all this data, man. They know who the heck's checking out on products. So, so, so those are other ads that I'm going to do also is I'm going to optimize. That's what you call optimize. You're running a conversions ad to optimize for Facebook to find you more people that are likely to check out. Yeah. And that's why they have to know about that checkout page. That's why that checkout page has to be a custom conversion. So let's create conversion, hit the blue one. 
now do I do I want to put my pixel on that page? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Now, that's right. When I click here, does that take me to the pixel? No. Um that's yeah. the pixel ID, but with Kartra, it's not it, the pixel highlighted ID. Highlighted here. What if I click that? What does it do? I mean you can click on it. I don't know what it's gonna where it's gonna take you, but it it won't. Yeah, see so it just brought you it brought you here to the overview. And and that's fine. But what we need is we need the full blown code. So not that what you'll do is you'll go to um, click on actually what you can do is you can simply go to your other page. Oh, go to the builder to go to any Kartra page that's open already. Other than this one, go to your other ones. Oh, and just copy it. Yeah. Just copy it. So maybe the left. Yeah. Grab it from here. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's, oh, so that's yours. Yeah, that, that might be mine, yeah. Does it end in 9843 or something like that? Uh, 9843. Yeah, 9843. Yeah, that, yep, that's mine. So go ahead and delete, yeah, delete all that. Okay, so mine's in there now, apply. Okay, perfect. And now we want to go and create a conversion around this page, right? Yes. So um, did you publish it live? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Oops. And then grab grab the, the URL without the www. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, let's, the, the triangle, the blue triangle, custom conversions. And if anything, it's always good to bookmark these specific pages as well. I have bookmarked my custom conversions page. I'll bookmark my custom audience page. Um, I'll bookmark the dashboard, the ads dashboard. Um, and it's really those three pages that I bookmark. So, in this one, we'll just hit the blue button again. And then let's do the same thing. We're going to call this one SWS ATC. That's what I would do. SWS, and that's add to cart. And when we hit that drop down, select your own category. That's what it also is. I, I believe it's add. Yeah, it's add to cart. So hit that, that drop down, select your own category. No, yeah. leave that one alone. The blue, select your own category. And hit the drop down, and I and and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's add to yeah. There you go, right there. So add to cart, and then just paste in that URL. And it, it, remember, you yeah, you always have to choose it. Perfect, great. Okay, cool. Now um, go to that page. So it, remember, every time you create a custom conversion, and every time you create a custom audience, you, want to check you, it for you create it, and then you go to that page. And you refresh it, and then you come back to Facebook, and you refresh it. So now Facebook just read it, and now that should go active. So refresh this page. Perfect. There goes your custom conversions. You see how Facebook already is starting to read it, so it has number one on the presentation yeah. Because, yeah. obviously that's you but right it starts to read it in real time and that's your custom conversion so now as we go in let's just do a, a, a test run real quick as we go in and set up an ad here's how you're going to do it so hit those dots to the left and you're going to go ads manager so remember the name of those conversions you have one that's atc you have one that is presentation so I would bookmark this page right here. So I would bookmark the custom conversions page. I would bookmark custom audiences, which we'll get to. And then I would bookmark this right here, your dashboard. And, and here's what I also do before I even walk you through this part right here. And this, 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 is, this is really good for tracking, for the ability to come in here and look at everything from a 30,000 square foot view and be able to see what's going on. And really, it's only a few metrics that we're looking for. We don't, I don't care about reach. I don't even care about impressions, really. I don't even care about 
um, bid strategy. Like a lot of these, I don't, you know, a lot of the metrics watch, go to the very, very bottom and hit that, that long bar at the bottom and scroll it to the right. You have all these other metrics and um, sometimes it goes on forever, but a lot of them, I don't even care. I just care about my cost per result. Like how much is it costing for me to, for me to get a registrant and how much is it costing for me to make a sell? Right? Like those are the most important. Right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize that column bar so I can just see the ones that I really want to see. So if you, if you click on, I believe it's right there where it says view setup to the right of it, right where it says right above Im impressions. Yeah. Not here. that. Don't oh. click on that to the right of it. Hover over to the right of it. Though. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go down and customize columns. Um, and is this the right account that we're in right here to the top left sprouting with Steve 718? Is that the right one? Let's cancel this real quick. Let's just double check. Hit that drop down. Okay, yeah. So sprouting with Steve is the one. Okay, well, good, you got I got two sprouting with Steve. Yeah, but this this is your ad account. So so that that one right there is all you need. Sprout. 718. That's the account. That's not the, that's not the same number as before. That's not the same pixel number, but that's the account, your ad account number. These are the only two ad accounts you have. No. There was a different one. Let's see, click on that right there. Click. Yeah, no, this is this is this is the right one. Okay. Yeah, this is the right one. So you're good, you're good right here. So this is where you're because you haven't run any ads, right? Right? I haven't run any. Okay, yeah. So this is the one. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to that column, that customized column, hit those um to the right of the view setup. Yeah. And then go down to customize columns. Okay. So here's what we, so everything to the right, that is what is currently showing in that dashboard. So I'll get rid of a few of them. Like I'll get rid of last significant edit. I don't care about that. Um, I'll get rid of um, quality ranking, engagement rate ranking, conversions rate ranking. I don't care about any of that. Um, results go ahead and get rid of results because we have our own custom conversion and and we'll track that result um bid strategy i guess you can leave that ad set name that's fine delivery um go ahead and, and get rid of cost per result because we have our own which we're going to set up which we already set up that's the custom conversion and then you can you can leave all that so now to the very left you have you have conversions Click on standard events. See your custom conversions were supposed to be to the left. Where did your, can you, can you scroll? You can't scroll up and down that left bar that. No. Where's your, um, okay. So we have custom, your custom conversions were supposed to show right there where it says settings, hit cancel. And then let's go, let's click the, let's click that drop down again over to the right of view setup and go down to, yeah, go to, go to, yeah, click on customize columns. Yeah, we should have, we should see, we should see um, custom conversions, right where it says conversions, it should say yeah. custom conversions to the left. I, I still think we're on it. That for some reason I have two Steve starting with Steve's. Yeah, the drop down, whatever that drop down says right there, sprouting with Steve, that's that's that should be the one. So now just hit the green button, create, and this is how you set up a conversions ad. So 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 one hundred percent of the time, well, I'll just say ninety nine point nine ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time you are running this type of ad, and it's a conversions ad. So um, you don't need to worry about special ad categories that box. So just leave that one, go down to conversions to the middle of the page conversions. Um, on no, down to the, down to the right conversions over here. Yeah. Conversions. Click on that. That's where you're going to be. So that's where you're going to live. You're going to live right there. Okay, so Click on that. Is, so just so that I, I'm in 
I created a, I'm, I'm creating a new campaign. Yeah, you want to bookmark this page too. This is the ad setup. It's so ad manager, but okay. It's gonna say something. So that takes me to ads manager. Well, it's the same, right? Yeah, I I would just create a folder and put all these pages in in one folder. Okay. But yeah, you can delete delete one of those bookmarks. Right click and just delete. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So so yeah, bookmark this page. This part this page isn't bookmarked. I don't know why it's there at the top, but hit the star. Just go ahead and yeah, hit the star right there and then just put it in in I guess put it in that ads manager folder. Hit the drop down. Yeah. And then choose another folder. Yeah, see, so you don't have any folders. All that is is a page tab that's saved, but yeah. create a folder. So create new folder, bottom left, and just go ads manager. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So that's the folder right there. Okay. So hit click on the click on the number eight real quick. Just click on it at the top. This? Yeah, click on it. Okay, see, so it's taking you, it's still taking you. Yeah, it should have been a folder, but maybe you have it, you have it to the right. Right there, we're in the top right. Yeah, hit those arrows to the right. Yeah, right there. Yeah, see, that, there's your folder. Okay. So if anything, yeah, delete, delete that. Delete, delete this one. Yeah, right click. Yeah, there you go. Delete that and then just bring the folder up. Perfect. Perfect. Then how do I get the folder out? You can um, go ahead and drag it. Drag it to the top. Drag it to the bookmark. Yeah, perfect. Drop right there. Perfect. 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 Now we're in this create. Okay, cool. So, so now click on the green button. Perfect. So this is bookmarked right here. Okay, cool. So this is your ad setup. Conversions is where you'll be. So go ahead and click conversions and then you always want to give it a title. So scroll down and, and that, that title is already there, the campaign name conversions, but I'll always put dash and then I'll be a little bit more specific. Leave conversions, leave the word conversions, but just put a dash to the right of it and just get specific with it. Which video is it? You know, which so this is, uh, not the page. Cause we're, the page is going to be the well, same for every, I, I've always called that video, the landing page, the main landing page video, but perfect. Uh, perfect. So whatever, yeah, whatever is best for you. I mean, yeah. This is the only thing that I am. No, I only see this, right? Yes. And campaign budget optimization. You won't, you won't be using that just yet, just yet, but, um, leave that gray. So the, the create a and B test, that's gray. The budget optimization, that's gray. So hit the, hit the blue button. Continue. Okay, cool. So here's the deal. This right here is, is, is where the magic happens. This is a conversions ad. So right there in the red, click there. And now you're looking for the custom conversion that you just set up. So scroll down until you see those reds turn green. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Where is the custom conversion you set up? Scroll down. That's it. You should be able to go down further. So click on, um, scroll down a little further. That's it. Okay, so where is the one that you just set up? See, so yeah, you might be in a different, you're right. Yeah, see here, I'm, this is 4480. Yeah, okay, so you're in a different, you're in a different one. How in the so heck I've got you? two sprouting with Steve. So this one here. Perfect. Perfect. See, when you do it right, right here. yeah, when you do it right, it's already there by default. Okay. Now here's the deal though. As I mentioned, split testing. One ad, you're going to run to that custom conversion. 
a second add to, this, to the add yep. to cart. Yep. Hit, hit the X, X that out. Now look for the other one. Bam. Presentation. So that's what you're going to go split back. Test and will be like one to each of these. Yeah. That's your split testing. Now you'll, you'll see which one works. You'll see which one converts higher, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and when you're split testing, it's not like you're running it for, for weeks. You're literally running it for, I mean, you are putting some money towards it, but at the same time, it is what it is. You have to test it. You have to, you no, have to we're, spend. We're, listen, we're ready to put money towards it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but what I'm saying is though, as far as like knowing if it converts or not, you don't have to necessarily go that long. You have to go maybe Facebook. I, I speak to Facebook support. I'm always chatting with Facebook support. Um, and they'll always say, well, not always, but I've gotten, I got an information from a few reps where they want you to test it for at least, at least, at least 10 to 14 days. But mm -hmm. then I have mentors that I follow that I learn all this stuff from and they, and they'll test, they'll test different campaigns. Um, and they'll go anywhere from four to seven days. Yeah. So, so, so I would say four to seven days, you'll, you'll run, you'll run both of these side by side. And, and in seven days, you'll see which one's converting. And, and after seven days, you'll shut one off and go all in with that other one. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're even wasting money. You're not because as in seven days, as you see which one converts better, you shut off the second one that's not converting as high and you go all in with that other one and you end up making back the money on that other one. Yeah. Right. So that's a form of split testing. You're, 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 you're optimizing for, for two different ones add to cart and, um, and, and web, web class, web class registrants, presentation registrants. Now the third custom, conversion that you want to set up as well. Um, and we might as well do that right now. And so that's the only part. That's the only part that you needed to know was, was how to click on that, find that green dot. And then the rest is, is, is targeting and then, and then pulling that post from the business page. Do you know how to do that part? No. Okay. So let's go to the second, let's go to the third step. So as you fill out this scroll down. So what now are we, are we create this is a this is an ad right here we're creating a conversion. Yeah, but we're not. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want you to t to go live with this just yet. I right. want you to I want but, you to finish those emails, man. But, you but have you to finish can, those. You emails. can set up an ad and just not go live with it. You can set up an ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, or you can simply X out of the page right now, and it will bring you back to this page where you left off. So. Yeah, you can, you could, you could, you could come back to it. Is yeah, for sure, you can come back to it. So, I mean, should I go ahead and name this? I mean, it says ad set name. Obviously, it, that's the first tab, the first title. So, click on objective in the top left. That's where we named it the first time, objective. Where you named it, conversions dash. But we didn't name it. Yeah, you know, I know. Just so go ahead and do it here. Through. Yeah, conversions Virgin dash landing page. Uh, presentation. Yeah, presentation. And are we going to split test it? Um, no, not necessarily. Okay. No, 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 not right here. You're not. As you get more advanced, then campaign budget optimization is is what you'll is what you'll, you'll eventually you know go with, uh, but not not right now. Like, let's get the ball rolling. Um, no. So this is the presentation. So should I change? What is this up here? So, so this right here is, is not, is not that part is not that. So each step, there's only three steps, campaign, ad set, ad. Those are your three steps to the left. That's what I call it. Three pillars. You title the first one. Now let's title the second one. And what I normally do with the second one is I'll title it whoever I'm targeting. Cause in here is the targeting and the budget and the optimization. So I might put right here, 10 bucks a day slash Home Depot slash SWS presentation. And the only reason why the title is somewhat important is so when you're, on, when you're at the dashboard where I showed you the different columns and customizing the different columns, when you're at the when you're on the dashboard, you can look at everything from this view and and yeah. see exactly what it is, rather than having to click into everything. 
that's why the title is 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 important. So now, who are we going to be targeting? That's I mean, that's you, you said Home Depot, but I mean I'm just using that as an example, but you guys need to know who you're targeting for sure. So who what would I put in here then? Whoever the heck you're targeting. Are you targeting men? Are you targeting men ages 40 to 65? No, women, women, women ages women. Uh, 30 to 60. Yeah, I would put that in there. And this, this ad set name, it's not a long sentence. It's just, it's just a very brief description of this ad set. $10 a day, women, 30 to 70. And then, and then, and then, and then maybe the targeting or as far as the demographics, maybe I'm targeting people who follow, you know, freaking the gardening channel or whatever. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, Yeah, so leave that, leave that. And then, um, and see what I was going to do, because I know you're not ready for this ad just yet. This was a whole nother call. So I was, I'll walk you through the ad on a whole nother call. Okay. But let me give you a little bit of it now. I might as well just give you, give you a little bit now. Scroll down. So, so you won't worry about dynamic creative. Don't worry about offer. Don't worry about that. Scroll down. The audience... Now, right here where it says custom audiences, that's why it's so important to set up custom audiences, which we'll do on our next call. We'll do that on our next call. It's not super, super important just, just yet, but it has to be done ASAP. But this is where I'll have an audience of those who opted in, of those who landed on my presentation page. That's one audience. So when I go run multiple ads in the future, I'm going to exclude that audience. I'm also going to exclude the people who purchased. Those are people who are in a specific audience. Make sense? Uh -huh. Now, now, who do I include? So if I click, if you click right there, click, click inside the box, click, you'll see custom audiences right there to the right. You don't have any just yet, but right there is where you'll see, because we're going to create a custom audience, you'll see landing page viewers or you can name it website viewers and these are people who only landed on the landing page but never opted in those are people that i need in a custom audience because i want to continue to target those people make sense yeah so that's why custom audiences are so important and and, and really all you're doing is retargeting website viewers that's what i would name the custom audience website viewers and, and we know those are website viewers only because as we set up the custom audience, we're also putting in there the fact that they never, they only landed on the landing page. They never landed on the thank you page or they never landed on the presentation page. They never landed on the thank you for purchasing page. That's how we know they're only website visitors. And so again, that's, a, that's an audience you want to retarget with every ad. Okay. okay, so that's where you would put that. Now let's click out of that. And, and then as you scroll down, but click out of it so you can see the age, gender, detail, target. Yeah, there you go. So right here, age, gender, the detail targeting, that's where you'll put all the keywords. Now, now here's another thing. The detail targeting, go ahead and edit that up, up right there, edit. This right here is where you'll put in a bunch of keywords of people, you know, that you're targeting. This is also a form of, of, of split testing. And that's where on the beginning, in the beginning under campaign, under objective, that's where the campaign budget optimization is going to come in handy. But this is down the line. This is when you get a little bit, this is when you start making some sales from this and actually start seeing an ROI from this. Then you'll kind of flip your strategy a, a, a just a bit. But the campaign budget optimization is, go ahead and click on objective in the top left real quick. Let's go back to it real quick. Objective. This campaign budget optimization, scroll down. This is when, right there, when you, when you shade it to blue, optimize your budget across your ad sets. So this is where we end up putting the budget right here. So we tell Facebook, hey, 
our daily budget is 25 bucks a day. And here's what you guys should be spending. And I don't know if I mentioned this before. Actually, I did mention this before. I don't know if you remember, but here's, here's what it is. You should be spending hundred bucks a day. That's where you guys should be. Based on that price point, whatever you're selling it for, you need to be spending that much per day. Because if you make one sell, you break even, mm -hmm. right? So you want to be thinking that way. You don't want to be thinking five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, not even 20 bucks a day. If I'm making a, if, if we, obviously you have other expenses, right? Other than that, 90, that 97, the 97 isn't fully net. That is your revenue. But at the same time, you don't have that much overhead other than what you, you and Steve were splitting or whatever. Right. Let's call that the net. It's, it's, it's dang near the net. Yeah. 97 bucks. And after your credit card processing fee of Stripe, I think you net 95 bucks. So, so if, if, if that's how much we're netting per unit, we need to be spending that much per day. That's how you want to kind of look at it. So, now, so with the pixel that we have in there, I will be able to tell what, so right now we're getting just organic sales from different things floating around out there. So we will be able to isolate sales. Okay. Hey, we got four sales yesterday. Three of them came from the Facebook ad. Will we be able to tell that? Yeah, it's going to track it in the dashboard. Yes, for sure. For okay. sure. That's what you look at on the dashboard. So you'll be able to see those okay. cells accumulate okay. on the dashboard. But, but what I'm saying here is this optimization, this campaign budget optimization. We're going to shade it gray right now, but as you start to get better, you'll shade it blue. And, and, and what this allows you to do is as we go into the ad set, so go back and click on to the left, click on um, audiences. So let's say that that was blue and let's say it's a hundred bucks a day. As we come into here, the detailed targeting, this is when you, this is, this is a form of split testing right there in the detailed targeting. You would only put one word home Depot. And then we would create another ad set, not another ad. We would create another ad set and that ad set, which would, which, I, I'll show you how to do that, but again, we're not going to do that right now, but, I, but I'm telling you this because you're going to, this is how you need to be thinking in the future. The second ad set would be a, de a second detail targeting and we're, and, and we're going to target people who follow the, the, the gardening channel. And then, and then the third ad set, we would duplicate that and create another ad set detail targeting, all the same ad, same everything. It's just, we're multiplying, we're duplicating the targeting. Right. And, and, and each one is targeting one audience. And we're going to set four of those. So from these four different detail targeting, one's Home Depot, one's the gardening channel, one's HGTV, one is married women over the age of 50 who love gardening. Four different interests targeting. The campaign budget optimization in the beginning, 100 bucks a day, will start tracking which interest groups are hidden. And then Facebook will only put, so now you don't have to micromanage anything. You tell Facebook, hey, 100 bucks, is, 100 bucks a day is the budget. Here are the four different detailed targeting audiences. Find me the ones that pump and dump all my money into that one. Okay. Right? So, so rather than putting a bunch of keywords right here, because that's what a lot of rookies do. They'll come in here and they'll flood. They'll put 10 different group, 10 different keywords all in one right here. But at the end of the day, how do you know which keyword it was yeah. that, that really hit? You don't know unless you split them up. And right. so you split them all up. Like you set up four, 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 four of them is all you really need. Four different detail targeting, hundred bucks up front. Facebook will start putting all that money into the, into the one out of four that is, that is converting at the highest rate. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so, but, but right now, like, I mean, again, you're just starting out. So, so I would, I would, I would cast a wide net and, 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 and just put in, put in a keyword right there. Now and, this, and, hey, everything I'm doing, does it save it automatically? It, it will, but at the same time, man, we're going to dedicate one call to this. So don't worry about it. We'll, we'll go through this again, but I'm just kind of giving you the, the 30,000 square foot view. So scroll to the, scroll to the bottom, scroll to the bottom, automatic placements, manual placements. We'll come back to that. See, so if it wasn't me setting the hundred dollar budget in the front on the, on, on the objective up front, which I'm not doing because we shaded that blue to gray, right? On the objective, the hundred dollars a day, we shaded that to gray. 
So this is where we set it. We set it down right here. So we're setting it right here. We can go daily budget or we can go lifetime budget. But again, we'll come back to this. So scroll down. Let me just hit the continue. Let me just show you the post and how we find that post. So now we're on the third and final step. This right here, you'll name it and you can name it, you know, whatever video it is that you're running, which you did on, the, on, on, on step one, the campaign, you titled it over there, but you can do the same thing right here. It doesn't really matter. But you always want to tie your Instagram account to it as well. Even though you're not running Instagram ads, you still- I, I don't have an Instagram. Okay, that's fine. So you select a page, that's fine. So right there in the middle, use existing post. That's where you'll find the post. So keep in mind, use existing post. Click on that. Where, where are you seeing it? Middle, use existing post. Okay. And that zoom bar, you can always move that, dude. Move that freaking out of the way if yeah, that's in your there. way. Yeah, get it out of the way completely. But this right here, use existing posts. Now we're going to select post. And we're going to find that post. Right here. Click it. Hit continue. Now, keep in mind, once you hit continue, you can no longer change the text. So right. the text, it must be ready to go. So the moment you guys post it on the business page, make sure your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted and everything is ready to go. Because the moment we put it here, we can no longer change it. Okay. okay. And then you scroll down. You'll see the call to action button. So add button. Click on that. Uh, let's see. Down, down, down. Right there to the left. Add button. Right there. That's where you put the link to your landing page. Okay. So click on that. And learn more is what you'll always go with. There's always, there's a few other options, but learn more is, is, is the most high converting button. And click on learn more. Where, here is where we would put the. The landing page link. And in this case, you'll just grab the it entire would, it would be, link. It would be this page here, right? Yeah, that one. So that link would go right there. So the moment they click on learn more, in fact, go ahead and do it right now. Go ahead and do it right now. Grab the link. And, and always just FYI, you know, for future knowledge, never leave a page like this. Like always save progress, publish live and get out of it. Like try not to ever, try not to ever leave the, the page idling open like this. Um, okay. Just in case, man, you might end up losing something that you worked hard to build. And in this case, you'll just grab the whole entire link. And what's, what did you guys name it? Uh, register to name it something different or unless you wanted to re name it register to is that what you got are you guys testing different no, ones? I mean, uh, um... sprouting with sprouting with steve.com forward slash um register or actually well i guess if you already have a register one i mean uh, is that the reason why this is registered two? do we I have two I, have, I think that's why that's fine leave it so in this case for the learn more button you can grab go to hit the check mark Make sure you, you hit the check mark. Go back real quick. Yeah, hit that check mark. Okay, cool. And then just and then just get get out. Well, actually, you can leave it, I guess. But yeah, okay. And then update post. And then there is the new look of it. Learn more. There's your ad, man. So will this like like you said we'll deal with it later but i gotta go through this all again correct this won't save you can you can you can save it you can um actually if you open? if you just x out watch x out of the whole up here actually don't don't x out there just hit the home hit the home button at the top left yeah hit that and then it'll say it'll say leave this page go ahead and yeah. leave this page <clears throat> And then, and then click on the dots to the left or click on ads manager right there. Click on ads manager and then click on the green one. And it's going to ask you if you want to resume where you left off or at least I know it used to, it, it should. 
There we go. Here's where you left off, so you would just continue. Yeah, just hit continue. Okay. Hit continue again. Yeah, let's just make sure we refresh it. So hit continue, and then boom, now you're back to where you left off. But yeah, so what you want to do also, what's really good as far as um, seeing your audience or, 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 or finding your audience, I should say, and knowing who is even an audience to target is you can click on, um, click on the, the, the um, click on the dots to the left here. Yeah. Click on that. And then let, let's look for audience insights. Scroll, scroll down audience scroll down do we have audience insights yeah right here yeah there we go so right here you can simply have you ever used audience insights no okay this is this is pretty powerful pretty pretty powerful right there to the left you just simply pop in what you're looking for and who you're looking for like location is um, locations already set to the US, age and gender, um, 18, you can change that 18. Um, and then you can change the, 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 the gender and then, you, and then you simply type in the interest, type in that general keyword under interest and Facebook will pull all the data it has under that interest. And what you're really looking for, a good, a good, um, 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 targeting is pages. So for example, um, let's let this thing, ref let, let's actually, yeah, we should be able to no click out of it. I don't know if it's just thinking right now and pulling score to the very bottom. Do, do you have to hit submit or anything at the no, bottom? I mean, I typed in gardening. Yeah, that's fine. Gardening's fine. And then, and then it should, it should have pulled demographics right here towards the middle, but click on page likes at the top. Maybe it's just, it's still thinking. I don't know, but click on page likes. Okay. So United States, all United States location, gender, we got women 30 to 65. Yeah. Normally, I mean, I don't know if it's just a hiccup, but it will pull all this data. So for some reason, yours is blank. Refresh it, hit the, Instead of double clicking the whole URL, click that. You see the back button, that circle? Yeah, click on that. Refresh that. Yeah, reload. Yeah, it should have pulled. That's all you got to do is type whatever you typed in right now, and it should pull. It should have pulled all the data. Um, for some reason, it's not. But you'll want to come back in here and check it again because for some reason there's just a hiccup right now. But you'll see. You'll see all the pages that people in that age group, in that gender, in the US, with that interest, you'll see all the pages that they follow. Okay. And you're looking for, you're looking for the highest one. So a good targeting is-, and, is you, You're looking for the highest page that has the most likes? Yeah, 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 for then, sure. And then what, do you, then what do you do with that? And then in, in, the, in the detailed targeting, you, you target that page. So you can actually target a page. You could target that page. So you're targeting everyone who follows that page. So the gardening channel, they have a Facebook page. I want to target everyone who follows that page. Yeah. And it will tell you right there. So again, this, give it a few minutes and just come back to this. So bookmark this page, give it a few minutes, come back to this later on tonight and, and check this again. Cause you should see a bunch of data that pulls right here. You can see demographics, you can see married, you can see a bunch of data on them and that helps you with your targeting. Okay. So just check this again for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, so um, we did the pixel, we did the custom conversions. Next, we got to do the custom audiences, and 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 you need to you need to work on that email sequence. I highly recommend you, man, finishing that sequence. So that's my my problem. Now, this is going to be homework for me. I'll customize mm -hmm. this page. Now, right now, for these organic sales, well, they're not going to this page right here. This, this page is kind of specific to our, our Facebook thing. Mm -hmm. 
our other landing page looks a little bit different, so it shouldn't affect. No. So the other page will be going, so I can have one page that has a checkout page, but I could have another page that has a pop-up. Yep. It's all, okay. Yeah, but what, but what you wanna do for sure is, is just clone it. So if you changed the, the main page, the blue button and the orange button on the main page, then everything has changed now. Well, I only changed it on this page. Okay, right so this is the only page that's not organic, and right? This page right now is is not okay, doing good. it. It's okay. not in yeah, it's not in Okay, perfect. So then you're good. Okay. You're good. But 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 I'm telling you, man, you may think you guys are doing okay organically. You're getting some sales. I'm telling no, you. No, no, hey, look, I'm much. I'm not I'm not thinking it's okay. We want, yeah, yeah, we want yeah. this thing to be ramped up and I I know I gotta get this. It's just I don't know. Um you know, I thought we had this thing set to it's expiring in 10 minutes as opposed to, um, I, I don't know, I just need a little bit of help with this uh, right here. So maybe that's on our next call. We just. Perfect. Walk, Let's knock that out on the next call. Set up that sequence. We'll set up the sequence. We'll set up the custom audiences around the pages and, 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 you're, good, and you're good to go. And then we run, we'll run the full ad together okay. and you're good to go man okay that's just the most important is is the sequence the convert the custom conversions the custom audiences knowing how to run to the full ad making sure the pixel is on every page and 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 knowing how to read the dashboard and that's pretty much it that's okay. pretty much it so question in a in a product can i have like i've got this guy who wants to just run with this thing and he, we want to have kind of a separate price point for him. Mm -hmm. So can I clone my pages yep. and then have a separate price point? Yep. That only people who are going through him are going to see this different price point structure. Yep. And I just, you, I just do that in, in the product setup. Yep. Do it I in the product. Add, setup. I can add a different price point. Yes. And then I would just select that price point for his pages. That's it. So if they, if they click through mm -hmm. and they have a pop-up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, check out, it'll go to price point two, which will be that specific yep. price for him. Yep. You got it, boss. Okay. You got it. This is All right. Well, I, so I will work on that checkout page and then uh, we're on for Thursday and we'll, we'll work on this and, you know, maybe, maybe it goes quick enough. I mean, do I need to have, it just seems like a lot, but if, if we can get through it, then, then I'm fine with it. Cause I know that the money's in the following. <laughs> yeah, man, we can, we can get through all that in one call. We'll knock all that out. Okay. What, what might be, what might save us some time is if you simply had the emails already, already done. Yeah. Now you don't have to have the full email done but maybe if you just open up your gmail and and just and just write okay here's one paragraph that's email number one couple spaces here's another paragraph that's email number two so when we talk on thursday all we got to do is copy paste copy paste yeah. and put everything into this so because every so everybody in this true column watched the video watched the video so this mm -hmm. first one would just be, hey, thanks for watching the video. Yep. Da 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 da. -da. Yep. The second one, five hours later. That's if I'm giving them something. Like if you giving them, if you're giving them some type of free PDF or some type of download. Yeah, but know, see, we're not. So with that. Yeah. So you can you can get rid of that one. You know, you can you can you can delete that one. In fact, just delete it. Why don't you just hit the three dots, and just delete. And will that skip it? Well, it's going to completely delete it. Yeah. And then we're going to connect. I mean, will, it, will it bring the other one up? Yeah, it will. So just connect, connect those two now. There you go. So really we only, I'm, I'm, I'm only envisioning like, I mean, how many times do you follow them up? I mean, we, one, two, three, four, and it's and 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 that's pretty much. Let's see, 
this last one, it's really, when you look at everything, it's really four days, five days. So it's one a day. So this right here, it's gapped out one day to 20 hours. But if you really look at everything, it's one a day for five days. Okay. So that's it. And that's why in those email, in each email, I have a countdown clock. I'm counting down from five days. So you watch it today, one per day over the next five days, you're going to get another email from me getting you to buy. So this, 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 I thought we set this up for five days, but it wasn't for 10 minutes. No, that won't be five days. That's a completely different countdown clock. That's just oh. for, 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 for creating urgency the moment they're on the page. You got 10 minute countdown, 15 minute countdown, whatever you want to do. But okay, that right there is just a countdown for when they're here. Let's, In okay, the so emails, this is based... that's a different countdown. Okay. So I don't have to mess with that. I just have to mess with the script. Yes. Basically. Yes, because on Thursday I can I can help you with the count with the with the delay the time the day the tag, all that I can help you with all that. It's just the text that needs to be done. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be a long freaking crazy text. But again, man, online that is so we, what sells. Am I like am I redirecting people back to watch it again? I mean, that would be over on this side. No, right. that'd be that on, on, yeah, that would be on the false side for sure. But on the, on the, on the, on the yes side, on the true side, that thank you for attending. There's one link in there that takes them back to the presentation. Hey, Hey, Hey Ron. And by the way, if you, if you want to watch it again, if we have the replay shown for the next few days, click here and you can watch the replay, you know, so I would put that. In fact, I do put that in that first email. And then in each email after that, I have a different video selling them on something different. Okay. So when you, let's say I, I take them back to watch this presentation again. That's I only on that the email number one. Yeah. Would I, would I put that presentation on a separate page and link it to that page as yep. opposed to sending them back to the landing yep. page? Yep. Yep. And that's okay. exactly how it should be in your funnel that I sent you. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a web class presentation page. And then there's a second page, which is the replay page. Awesome. Same presentation, but on a different page. Okay. So, and then, um, and then, yeah. So if you look at that, if you look at the true side, the immediately that first email right there, that goes out immediately. 19 hours later, another one goes out. Right. So that's still within the first day. One day later, that third one, run, run this ad. So that one goes out one day later. So now we're on day two. Scroll down. So do I even do I even need this one here then? I mean, you don't you don't necessarily need it. You can delete it if you want and delete it. Yeah, I'd like just one a day. Okay, so so one day, so connect those. So immediately, and then one day later, that other one goes out. One day later, I'm giving you these. That goes out. The third day later, frequently asked questions. So the this one day, day, when this says one day, zero hours, that's one day, zero hours after this one. Yep, yep. Okay. So this one comes 20 hours. You can always change that. You can always change the hours. Yeah. But, but yes, but it, it's, it's just, it's just a four day, five day thing, if anything. Yeah. And then that last one, will you please tell me why that one is where I get them to fill out a survey. Hey, Ron, just out of curiosity, will you do me a favor? Will you please tell me why you did not take advantage of the offer? Yeah. And here's a brief, you know, survey. It would mean the world if you can fill it out for me. Some will, some won't, but the few and that you have, do, a, and you have a survey page. I do. And does that, that survey, does that survey come back to you or do you have to yep. go back and look at that page? No, the survey comes to my email. It's, it's, it's Google forms. Okay. So it's, it's a simple link to a Google form and, and they'll fill it out and I'll get an email with all the answers. Okay. All right. Well, so, I will work, I will work on, on putting some script to these prior to our meeting and I will fix that checkout page. I'm going to change the price point 
flown a couple pages for that other guy. He's, he's publishing on Monday to, a paper that goes to 37 states. Uh, Perfect. That Perfect. Could be a huge. And even if you don't fill out, even if you don't complete all the text, which I highly recommend you do before you run the ad, but if you don't complete all the text by Thursday, that's fine. What's really important is making sure that everything is tagged right. to make sure everything is set up right. Right. Because the hours is one thing, but what we have to set up, which we're not going to have time to go into this very second, but what we have to look at are the, are the, are the, are the tags, meaning right. if that person does not have purchased, if they don't have that tag of purchased, send them, I'm giving you these lead capture pages. Cool. One day later, if they don't have this tag of purchase, send them frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. One day later, if they do have the tag purchased, do not send them, are we clear to close? So we have to go through that and look at all those tags and make sure that the tags are set up correctly because we don't want people getting the wrong emails. Right. And, and on, the, on the right side, on the false side, that automation, we got to look at that automation to make sure that those tags are set up right because if they do watch it, they better not get the last chance email. Yeah because they already watched it, right? Yeah, right? So so that video, that presentation, is it is it hosted on Kartra? The um, video? And, yeah. and make sure you hit done and exit. Like, make sure you don't leave this page idle. Like, yeah, hit done and exit. Okay. But is that video hosted on Kartra? The video? The presentation? The video? The, the presentation. The video that, the, uh, yes. Okay, so just click on videos to the left, my videos. So yeah, as long as it's hosted on Kartra, then the tagging of the true and false uh, works. So you could tag, you can just set a tag for that, for that video. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so right there it says one tag. So go ahead and open that up real quick. Hit the dots, edit, and just check that tag. So it's a, what is it? A 20 minute video? Yeah. Okay. So uh, tag leads. So we tagged anybody that watches it up to 18 minutes. Perfect. 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 Yeah. So um, that's what would, that's the tag that would be on the, on the, on the false side. So in the automation, you click on the automation on the false side. If the person has this tag, do not send them the next false email. Got it. That's how that's set up. Yeah. So again, I mean, this is, this is just super important, knowing who watched it and knowing but I need, who did it. But I need to set this video up in a separate page for the replay purposes, right? Yeah, but at the same time, all you got to do is just go and clone the page. Go and clone the page. Yeah, well but the page has a bunch of other stuff on it too. Delete it. Okay. If anything, delete it, but don't think you have to create a whole new page, just clone the existing one and, and just name that one replay page. Yeah. Link, link it, customize the URL as you go and save it, as you go and publish live. Yeah. Save it, replay page. Yeah. Right? right. So, um, because that's the link that you're sending them in email number one on the true side. Hey, John, just wanted to make sure you, you know, you caught the whole entire presentation. Thank you for watching. In case you want to watch the replay, it's going to be up for the next few days. Click here to watch the replay now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is just where we get the extra crumbs, man. We, we don't, we don't leave any crumbs on the table. See, there were a couple, like these two videos, actually I've got three of them here. These are videos um, where they're just specific pages with a video that I anticipate in using in a follow-up. One talks about the immune system. Heck yeah, yeah. man. Those so, should be videos in your email sequence on the true yeah, side. That, that's, that's what they were designed for was yeah. for follow-up. Yes. So this one, yeah. So I've got that. I just don't have it all done yet, but I've, I've got an idea of what I need to do. So. Okay. What, what, what you need to do on this, in this case is simply clone 
the replay page. So you're going to clone the replay page and add these videos. Clone it again, add that video. Clone it again, add the third video. Well, the, these are these have their own pages. Okay, you could do that too. Yeah. You could do that too. But to, to, to make it super easy, you just had to clone, clone the first one. Clone, clone the, the landing page? Let's Not the it. landing page, the, the, the presentation page. Yeah, this, this page here. Yep. So all you gotta do is clone that one over and over and over and over. And then just delete everything else. You can, or you can leave it. Just, just change out the title, change out the headline. Here's a sneak peek at the, at the course. The next page is going to be, here's the replay. Okay, I got you. You know, the yeah. headline for the next one, check out this video on immune system. So all the bottom can stay. It's just the headline that needs to change. Yeah. And the video. Okay. Got it. Okay. How'd you put that little character at the top? That's super cool. What the heck I is just, that? Uh, I just fiddled around and I found a, a GFI or whatever they call that. A, oh, okay. Hover oh, over it real quick, open it up for me. Edit it. So where did you put it? You put it inside of Yeah, so it was an image. So oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so you just image select and then grab yeah, it. Yeah, so I yep. just uh That's super cool. I type um moving Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I think it was this one right here. And then I just brought it in and it, it worked. So. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> nice. I never brought in a gift before. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, well, brother, I got a lot to do. Yes, and man. I appreciate it. So I've got my homework. I'm going to work on that checkout page. I'm going to clone these pages, rename some. Perfect. Work on the scripts. Sounds um, good, man. And we'll chat on Thursday. Yeah. A hey, last quick question. Do you know of a way to post my, my partner? He's already posting in our Facebook group mm -hmm. and our Facebook group's growing uh, quite a bit. You, you guys are in a powerful niche, man. I really, really believe that. Like I know that to be a fact. You guys are in a huge niche. Yeah. Is there a way he doesn't have the time to post in a bunch of different places. Can he post in the group and I grab whatever and it, post uh, on the page as well is there a way to double post no not in not in that case because he's posting from his personal page most likely right no he's, like he's on his personal page he's in the group as his personal page posting on his per from his personal page what if i made him an admin and he posted can, can he post on our page and have it duplicate on our facebook group it wouldn't duplicate, but, but that, that would be a better route where you post it on the business page and you share it in the group. Okay. So you would just simply go to that post on the business page and share it inside the group. So if I go to, for instance, I just created this page, right? Or this yeah, so scroll right down here. to any post, click share. So for instance, this one here. Yeah, click on share. Share and in a group. Right there. And that's, that's what you wanna do from this point on. So, so don't, don't post from your personal pages. If anything, post from this business page and share that original post. You want everything so, backtracking to the original post. So if you hit the drop down, the Ron Fleck, you can you can hit the drop down and you can post from you as from you, or or you should have been able to post from your pay as your page, but I don't know right why back. it's not showing you showing showing post. Actually, because because I think because you're the group, this business page isn't added to the group, or is it? I don't think it is. I mean, yeah, it's I don't not. Know. It's not added. It's not a member of the group. This page has to be a member of the group. And then if you hit that drop down right where it said your name, you would see the. So, so how do I make this page a member of the group? Go to, um, go to, go to the group. Okay. 
Okay, so if I go, where's the groups? And what you can do also, which would make it even better, is add the group as an admin, as the, add the page as a admin of the group. So let's pull up the group real quick. You should see it right, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, so from here, let's go to, um, let's go to members to the left. And then go ahead and um, admins and, and moderators scroll down a bit. And just um, let's see where, where, where would you add somebody? Let's look for where, where you would add somebody. Um, so Ron Fleck, let's see, um, let's go to, um, see so you're the admin, click on the three dots real quick. Change, remove change to moderator. So we should be able to add somebody. So if you were going to add your buddy as an admin, where would that be? We got to, um, because he's not an admin, it's only you. But do we want to add, we wanted to add the, the page, the page to this group, right? Yeah, the page. So the page can share to the group. Yeah. So, so do I invite a page then? Um, see if you can type it in there. I don't know if, I don't know if, see if you could type it in there. Type in. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not showing their drop down there, but I know it's here. Let's click on, um, click on more at the top. No, at the bottom right there, below the image, more. And then invite, moderate group, edit group settings. Try, try that one. Try edit group settings. Group name, okay. group type, general um, Okay, right. Link page color. Um, I don't see anything that. Um, 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 I know it's right here, man. I know it's right here. Um, oh, right here. What about it says membership? request from pages allow pages to request to there join. we go there we go yes perfect perfect so save that save okay now good. now i have to go and request right from the page yes try try that yeah so now as I'm you're back on the page let's go to um go back to the go back to the group real quick And just ref and at the very bottom, hit save. I, yeah, I did. Okay, so now let's go to members to the left. Click on members and see if you can invite. Yeah, see if you can type it in at the top. Enter name or email address. No, to the right. Over here? Yeah, see if you could type it in there. Okay, so it's not coming up yet. Um, Dang it, I know, I know it, I know all we gotta do is just add. Um, Find a member, you know. See, if you were to add your friend as an admin or a moderator, that would be under, why don't you click about, go back to about real quick. I know where I know I know you can do it, man. Um, scroll down. Recommended by admin. Recommend an existing group members. Click on um. Scroll down. Okay, see all members. Go to the very top. Click on um um, um right there. Manage to the bottom. Manage, right below. Re recommended by the admin. Down right there. Manage to the right. Right there. Click on that. Recommend existing recommended group. Dang it, where is it at? Um, joined. Click on more again. Yeah, it's, it's in here somewhere. Try moderate group, edit group settings. Link existing group. 
create new group. Click on that again. Click on invite members and see if you could type it in there. Yeah, see, it's still not coming up. Dang it. I wonder if, I wonder if we have to request from, from now I'm in the Facebook page. Do I? So like if this was my personal page and I searched yeah. routing with Steve and then I would hit like invite myself, you know, please let me join type of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know it's right under our nose. Um, 